Hey guys, it's Ronnie with Great Choice Audio Video, and today we're out here on this balcony. We're going to do our outdoor TV, and just wanted to show you what we're going to start with here. Uh, we have our Samsung Terrace and a mount, and I'll flip you around and you can see what we're doing. Should look pretty good when we're done. So you can see our Samsung Terrace there in the box. It is going on the wall right there. And there will be some speakers added later. We're gonna chase some wire underneath of here and then have them mounted up on here in the back corners. So that way they're not facing towards the neighbors back over there. So this area should sound really good and look really good with a Samsung frame up there. Uh, cool thing about this one, uh, I know I touched a little bit base on that in one of our videos previously. It does have the Samsung Smart Hub built into it. So no uh, smart device added to the TV to get streaming or anything like that. Um, so no further ado, we'll go ahead and get started and I'll shoot back here in a minute and show you what we got going on. All right guys, hey, it's Ronnie. We're back here we're out on this balcony. We just got the TV mounted. So we're gonna walk you through the setup of the TV. Uh, so let's flip around and watch Kyler. All right, so. And this is, you know, getting blasted with direct sunlight right now. And you can see it. And uh, just like I said before, it does have Smart Hub built into it. So you got Spotify, Smart Things, YouTube, Sling, Peacock, everything you would want to try to use built into the TV. Um, and then you got a Bluetooth remote that controls the TV. And here later, we'll actually be adding the speakers. But remember, we were going to move them back here. So just another date for that. We've got the TV. We're going to set it up on the network so we can control it with Elon. So Elon will be able to turn it all off through the IP, change channels, volume up and down as necessary. Um, so I mean, it's just pretty basic. Uh, we're going to set a static IP address. Uh, so we can be underneath our DHCP range as well. Um, we like to turn off a lot of the, you know, energy saving settings. As you can see, Kyler's going through here, checking all the settings, make sure that some of those are turned off or turned on, whatever, you know. And then you got your accessibility. And eco solutions. You know, make sure you turn off that motion lighting and ambient lighting detection that's outside TV. I don't think you want to do that. And we always like to turn off enable smart features to auto run. So if you turn a TV on and want to go to an HDMI input, it doesn't always all the way take that over. Um, with that being said, here we go through the network setup and this is pretty easy to do. Uh, we already know the IP address we want to make it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you're going to enable IP remote so we can control it through the internet. This TV is on a pullout mount, but for being a big old pullout mount, it does sit for pretty flush against the wall. Um, so, you know, just like any pullout mount, you just pull it out and all the wires not neatly zip tied up behind it. Um, just like most outdoor TVs, they do have a waterproof cover. We have all our connections inside of there, which uh, just our connections is a Balin and a Cat6 for internet. Always direct connect your devices if you can. I, lo I like the ones that auto keep everything from when it was connected to DHCP. And all you have to do is change the IP address. Some devices are easy like that, most of them. You got to go in and you got to change all of the settings, the gateway, the subnet mask, all of that. Now, if you're not too much a network guy, I'd probably leave that alone and keep it on DHCP though. So now we're connected to the TV. We got our right IP address. He's turned on all the settings to allow us to control it whenever uh, Elon's ready to go for that. You guys have a great choice day and we'll see you next time. As always, remember to like and subscribe down below. And if you want to see something else, some more content, let us know. Uh, 
here hopefully soon. We pre-ordered the Sonos Mini Sub and we're gonna be showing that off to you guys as well. Uh, so stay tuned. Remember, like and subscribe so you get the notifications um, and we'll be dropping videos all the time. Thanks guys, you have a great day.